Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, Yosmos. Space exploration is my passion, a place that answers all your space questions. I'm your Yosmonaut, Yash Mittal. Why don't you buckle up as we launch this episode? So what can one talk about but Mars on the day when Chinese rover has landed on Mars and Elon Musk is aggressively testing Starship for Mars travel. I am sure you would agree. Mars will soon see humans walking on the red planet. But would reaching Mars mean humans can go and live on Mars? If there is any more problem for humans to solve before humans can habitat Mars. Is there oxygen on Mars? Is there gravity on Mars? Is there water on Mars? Is there magnetic field around Mars to protect humans from solar radiation? There are many interesting aspects about Mars and answering all of them may need multiple episodes. I will plan to do this in a series on this channel. So do subscribe and check out these science-based interesting discussions on human step-by-step -step approach to colonizing Mars. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys watching my videos haven't subscribed to my channel yet. If you like my content, do consider subscribing as I upload videos every month consistently to keep you informed all about space happenings. Today, we shall talk about a simple thing called breathing. Take a deep breath and relax. You may ask why? Because here on Earth, we all can do that without even thinking. We don't know of any place in this universe besides Earth where we can breathe naturally. That's at least true till now as we speak. Many planets and moons in our solar system have atmospheres, but none of them can support life as we know it. They are either too dense as on Venus or not dense enough as on Mars. And none of them have much oxygen, the precious gas that we earthly beings need every minute. Current Martian atmosphere consists mostly of carbon dioxide. It is far too thin and cold to support liquid water. An essential ingredient for life. On Mars, the pressure of the atmosphere is less than 1% of the pressure on Earth's atmosphere. Any liquid water on the surface would very quickly evaporate or freeze. So how does human plan to survive on Mars without Earth like atmosphere especially when humans plan to stay there for long or forever. Without a doubt, humans would need Earth like atmosphere on Mars for their existence. Then the big question is, what are the possible ways to create Earth like atmosphere on Mars? There are many theories on how to make Mars hospitable to life. Elon Musk has suggested if we could heat up Mars's atmosphere by exploding nuclear bomb over its polar caps. The heat would vaporize the frozen carbon dioxide to greenhouse warm the planet and melt the water ice. And radiation may not be a problem as the explosion would be in space over poles. This however raises many scientific, ethnical and legal questions. From scientific point of view, it is estimated that the resulting melted water ice could easily cover the planet with several meters of water. However, it would not last long. And the carbon dioxide added to Mars's atmosphere would double the pressure, however, still not good enough to sustain liquid water and life. Mars has abundant carbon dioxide logged in, in martial soil and rocks. However, NASA research has shown even if we mine Mars's entire surface of carbon dioxide, the atmospheric pressure will still be about 10 to 14 percent of Earth's. Not good enough to sustain liquid water. Therefore, terraforming Mars seems difficult task with current technology. With future technological advances, we might excavate minerals deep in the Martian crust for carbon dioxide and water. Another idea is to redirect mineral-rich comets and asteroids to hit Mars. However, impact of comets is in itself another challenge. Scientists are of a view that introducing cyanobacteria that were responsible for converting our atmosphere 
of methane and ammonia in oxygen rich atmosphere via photosynthesis could be introduced in Martian atmosphere. For now, seems the answer to creating habitable atmosphere on Mars may not be so clear. But with our rovers rolling over Mars, and by the time first humans visit Red Planet, I am sure we would have solved many such problems. With that, I would like to conclude the first part of this series. If you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like on this video. Thanks for watching. Do check out the videos on screen right now.